Hi guys, welcome back to Jungle Flowers Canada. My name is Grania and thanks for joining me. Guys, today I decided to do a tour of my house plants. I just thought I'd do a quick tour of my downstairs. So I probably won't go too in depth into each plant, but then again I may. Who knows what's going to happen as the tour goes along. But I'm going to start here. So this used to be my dining room and I can't believe we fit a dining room table and chairs in here. But now it's a little sitting room and everybody loves it. I particularly love it and I am going to add a lot more plants to it. So I used to have plants in here anyway when it was my dining room. But now that I have a bit more space and it's just a sofa and it's a TV in here, I certainly will be increasing the load in this room. This is now, we don't have a living room anymore basically. So this is now our, let's call it our TV room or our den. I don't know what we're going to call it. And then we have the family room. So, and that the old living room is now my dining room and that's where I have my Ikea cabinet. So I'm gonna start with this room, guys, and I'm gonna show you some of my beautiful babies. Okay, guys, so in this corner is a little desk that I actually um, made over. So it was just an old brown desk with kind of, you know, yucky fabric on it and I painted it and I re recovered the seat and I did a Mod Podge on the actual table and it has become my Sansevieria table. So let me go through some of my plants on here. Now I have done a tour of my Sansevieria, but on here we have my um, Sansevieria Whitney, which is this one here. My Sansevieria um, Kirky, I think it's, oh gosh, I'll have to get the name of that. Kirky Bronze, I think it might be. My Variegated Whale Fin. My, I just showed you this recently, my Cleopatra, my Kirky Blue, my Samurai, and I can't remember the name of this. Let me pull this out. I think it's Nymph. Uh, yes, Sansevieria Nymph. So that's just my little Sansevieria corner. Um, I love it. I love my Sansevierias. Um, I do have more, obviously, around the house, but this corner here is just for them, and this little desk is perfect. Hanging up here on the left, is a public calyx splash it's absolutely gorgeous one of my favorite and it's doing very well even though it doesn't actually get any natural light well it gets probably a little bit but most of its light comes from my overhead lighting there here is the top of the public calyx you can see how lovely and full this is so this is the green part of the kentiana that i split if you saw my video where it, i told you it had reverted so I decided to split them up and this is the green part and then here we have a Hoya Publicalix and it is the um, variegated one. There is the Macrophylla variegated and here guys is a very underrated plant. It is the Polonia repens or it's sometimes called Begonia watermelon and I just love this. The leaves on it are stunning. Can you see there? It grows in low light and um, you just have to keep it well watered. That's the one thing. But look at how big it's become. I love this plant. So here I have my variegated string of pearls. And here I have the cutting that I took of the orchid cactus and it's doing very well. This is a Hoya Crinkle 8. This is an Obovata Splash. And under here are my variegated string of hearts. I put them under here because I had done some butterfly cuttings of them and um, I put them in here so I decided I'd keep it under a cloche just to get it going. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I put up my numeroloides and you can see that I have little flowers, little peduncles there. Can you see them? So I was wondering what these stringy things are. I was like, this is ridiculous. They've been on these. I've had this plant now over two years. And I'm like, these have been on here. I think I cut them off and I propagate them. So I foolishly cut one of them before I noticed. Do you see all the little bit uncles there? Now, and there is a flower on the one I cut, but I have it rooting at the moment. Here we have a Schifflera. It was variegated, but I don't think it was getting enough light. So there's just slight variegation on it now. I'm hoping that it will come back. There is just a regular string of hearts and an empty pot. <laughs> there is the Skindapsis Moonlight. 
This is the Peperomia beetle plant. Okay guys, so you see, this is what happens to me all the time. I will put the name of this up. I don't know the exact name. I can't think of the variety now. I have a few of them. I love them and I'm definitely losing it. Okay guys, so in here, these are my little propagations. So what have I in here? There's that tiny cutting of the numeroloides and there is actually a little flower on that. Here is a painted lady philodendron. It was one of the ones I got from Thailand, but it broke away from the roots, so I'm trying to root it again. This is just a cutting of my own Raphidophora tetrasperma because I want to fill it out. And here is a cutting of my Scindapsis. This is Silver Anne, so it has the smaller leaves. Again, I, am, I have two of them. One of them is huge, but I just wanted to fill out the top of another. I have, here I have a snake plant, which normally sits on the ground, but I had to take it up because I had my grandson last night. So there's definitely room for more. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's the variegated Kentiana. So I split it, guys. So this is the variegated piece. Now, this is a south-facing window, but we do have a house right beside us. So it doesn't come blasting in, but it does get nice sun. My kitchen. So that one I couldn't remember inside. Here is my absolute favorite one of them. This is killing me that I can't remember what variety of plant this is. This was a tiny, tiny cutting I got from a friend and look at how much it has grown. I just love it. It'll come to me now halfway through the video. And here guys is probably another one of the most underrated plants that I just love. And this is the philodendron. Um, it's the pearls and jade. It's not the enjoy. The enjoy doesn't have the like the freckly markings on it. This is so underrated guys, it is gorgeous. And I actually had it in too low a light area. So now I have put it here in the window. I had to move my Hindu rope because my variegated Hindu rope was giving me a bit of trouble. So I had to take that down. I had to take it downstairs to my grow tents. Here we have a Deschidia ovata. You can see that there. And then down here on my little window. So that's one of those little water Haworthias, as I call them. There is my variegated bear paw. There is my green bear paw. There is my angel that my sister-in-law sent me. She's so sweet. And there is my other, there is my other variegated bear paw. And there is my Buddha temple. And there are my wine corks. I don't have a problem, I promise. Up here, I have a philodendron Brazil. I hope you can see it. Um, and it's actually doing really well. The only light it gets is from that pot light up there, which is either five or 6,000 Kelvin. So here's some cuttings of my philodendron micans. I, I cut one of them completely back because I wasn't happy with it. So I'm propagating all of it. Now over to my Hoya window. So this, here is my Hindu rope that used to be in the, the window over my kitchen sink. Can you see all the long, um, growth points so I'm hoping I'm going to get flowers from that. There's my Hoya curtsii. You can see how long it's gotten. I love this. I love the markings on the leaf and you can see how long it has gotten. So I've taken a couple of cuttings from this but I love this little plant. Here's my Monstera deliciosa. So guys this wasn't doing great so I actually staked it to this moss pole and I'm hoping, there's actually two new leaves, but unfortunately one of them actually got caught up. I didn't even realize it was there, but it got caught up in the string I have it tied up with. So that one's probably a little bit damaged, but hopefully I will start getting better fenestrations on it now. Here's my beautiful Tradescantia Nanook and a sign that my daughter bought me because <laughs> I am a new grandma. Well, he's, he's almost, he's eight months now. Down here, I just have some succulents. Don't really give them too much attention. I should give them more. That is a golden rat tail cactus. So here is another Deschidia ovata. It's getting very long. And then here is my Scindapsis silver am. So look at how long this has gotten. It is loving its life here. I am going to transplant it into a bigger pot. So this is the, the Deschidia oinata, I believe is what it's called, and it's variegated. And it likes it. This is a west window, 
but um, it gets a little bit of shelter from the panels of the window. This is my Hoya Crimson Princess. Loving life here. She does have a little bit of green in there that's reverted. I may cut that off just so that we don't get any more reverting. And here's another one of those Peperomia beetle plants. And it's growing actually, if you can see around the back. Can you see that? Yeah, it's starting to get very long. Now my windowsill. <laughs> Messy. Staghorn fern, a true Christmas cactus, some cuttings of a golden pothos, a euphorbia, a peanut cactus, and these are some succulents that I ordered from GNL Nurseries. And um, this is these are pots of succulents that I just kind of threw together. I didn't have anywhere for them, so I put them all in here together. There's some little propagation succulents down there. Here is my jade tree, which got mealybugs last year. I cut it right back and now it's growing back again. There is my goldfish plant. There are, there's my pickle plant. And um, this is that beautiful succulent that I can't remember the name of it. It's a gorgeous one. Um, and it turns very pink in the sun. I did burn it a little bit though. Some more succulents, some jade necklace. This is that fabulous jade Gollum Jade. Um, I think it's a Gollum Jade Sunrise. Look at how orange it is. I just adore it. Again, some more babies that I just kind of stuck into this pot. And these are just little. There's a bear paw propagation. So this is basically my succulent window for the winter. Most of these go outside in the summer. I am actually going to um, mount that staghorn fern. I bought this sphagnum moss actually to do it, but I just haven't got around to doing it yet almost forgot so here is my string of hearts up here i've cut this a few times but i'm trying to replant it to thicken it out at the top um you can see the new growth is starting to come down and that again just gets light from that bulb okay guys so my family room sorry the lighting is probably not great so this is actually where i do some of my videos and uh there is the mosaica calathea mosaica I had the Calathea orbifolia here, but it got mealybugs, guys, so it died on me. Here is my Maculata. If you recall I put my Prince of Orange into Lekka. Uh-oh, it died. I'm so upset about it. Here is an agave. Cute little agave, I love it. Here I have a creeping fig. It used to be much longer, um, needs a lot of water guys, and sometimes I forget and it kind of crisps up. Okay guys, so this is my skin dapsis. This was one leaf about a year ago, and um, I just put it up here in this, in this pot and it has done lovely. I can't see what it looks like up there now, but I hope you can, but you can see there are lots and lots of beautiful leaves on this now. This one is the Scandapsis Silver Anne, so you can see it's got smaller leaves. And this is the one I took the cutting from because I'm trying to fill it out on the top. So there it is there. This isn't the brightest room, guys. In fact, I would say it's the lowest light because I have a covered deck. But these plants are all doing great. So there I have my Raven Zizi, one of my Birkins, my Sansevieria Bental Sensation. There are my beautiful snake plants, I love them. Here is my variegated peace lily. Look how beautiful she is. I've got to cut off the dead flowers. But you know what, I think I keep forgetting to water her. She needs a lot of water, guys, but does great in a low light setting. I have another Hoya Carnosa princess. And she only gets light from those overhead lights. So these two, if you remember, I made these hangers. These are philodendron brazils. There's one here and there's one over there. And they seem to be happy. And there's my parlor palm, which we had outside. And it just sits in that corner. Okay, so this is my new dining room, which used to be my living room. And here I have my Raphidophora tetrasperma. I have what we believe, I think, is a mandula pothos. It was a large one, very big one I got from Thailand. It did get thrips, so I did have to cut off a lot of the leaves. And so far, so good. I, I always check it, though, because we know those sneaky little feckers will come back if we don't keep an eye on them, but I think we are good. I also got them on my Epipremnum 
panaggio and variegata, which is like not one you want to be getting it on. Here we have a Chinese evergreen, ponytail palm. There is that alocasia maharani. My alocasia fried egg, I love. And my pride and joy, guys. I know I've shown, shown you her a few times. My Hoya Hindu rope. And she flowers this year. So I'm hoping I will get more flowers from her. She's gorgeous. Here we have some more string of hearts. These two syngoniums that I brought from Thailand, that's the, the splashing white. And um, this was supposed to be, I, I think I was calling it a splashing pink, but I'm not quite sure. Can't, I can't think of the name off the top of my head, but the rest of them are variegated, but this one is a, it seems to be, a so, well, it's not quite a solid pink, but it has more. I guess I'll have to wait and see what the new leaves are like. Here is a Diffenbachia. Now I'm not, don't have the best look with the Diffenbachia, but I couldn't resist this. Look at the leaf on that. It's just gorgeous and I couldn't resist it. So I said, you know what, I'll give it another try. So this here is my Monstera Deliciosa Thai Constellation and that is the first split leaf it got. This is a top cutting that I took off the mother plant and she is actually pushing out new growth. She's up in my bedroom. This here is a just a regular Monstera Deliciosa but it had some variegated leaves on it. So I bought it. That's called a Monstera Deliciosa Sport. So I'm hoping that I get some more variegation on it. And this here is another one of those large pothos, which again, we think might be mandula. We're not sure, but we'll wait and see. Because I did have this leaf actually was two colors. It was green and then this was all white, but you can see the white has actually died. Here we have my Monstera Peru or Carstenianum, whichever you want to call it. And look at the growth on that. It's growing up the bark. It's loving life doing really well in this window. This here is my philodendron birkin. I have a little love affair with birkins, guys. And um, this is doing beautifully. You can see there's new growth there as well. And then of course we have my greenhouse. I'm not going to put you through that again because I have shown you all the plants in here in other videos. If you want to check them out, you can go and check out my greenhouse, my IKEA greenhouse video. So there's all my little babies in there and my toothbrush holders with my cute plants. Again, I have more philodendron micans propagating up there. There's my Adansoni, probably not too bright here, guys. Here's this one again, guys. I can't for the life of me think of the variety. Love this little plant. I think this is called bones or something like that. Um, hasn't come to me, it's not unbelievable. But anyway, I love that. It doesn't get natural light really at all, guys. It just gets light from the lamp. But it's growing away and it seems to be doing fine. I would like it to have a bit more light. But for the moment, it's been here for like well over a year. So it hasn't died. <laughs> and here, guys, is my beautiful asparagus fern. I just love this. Look at how long she's getting. And again, doesn't get much light. Um, do need, you do need to keep this watered but she is doing beautifully here. So here is my dining room window, my Ikea greenhouse. I have some great desi design plans for this room, guys, and um, I'm excited to show you. Sorry, Kieran is playing music again in the background. It doesn't matter how many times I tell him, he always has to play something in the background. So this is my Sansevieria in my hall. It's gorgeous, look at it. There's like lots of little clusters in here. And it's really all I can have in the hall. There is actually some ace of spades there as well, but I think they're kind of struggling a bit. And here is one of those water Haworthias, as I call them. Uh, so I can't really grow too much out here, guys. It's just too dark. Hey guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that little tour. Um, I didn't do the greenhouse. I will save that for its own separate video. Um, I have moved a lot of plants out there, so there aren't as many on my main floor now as I had before. So guys, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that would be amazing. If you could subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to ask below. And thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day.